In order to diagnose facial pain correctly, it starts with listening to the patient. The patient history is vitally important to reaching the appropriate diagnosis for pain. I go through a list of targeted questions with the patient so that I can effectively listen to the patient and understand what the patient's telling me about their pain. Once I've done that, then I think about pain from more of a physician and a neurosurgical perspective. And only through those two things can you arrive at the appropriate diagnosis for their facial pain. And it's only after you've reached the right diagnosis for facial pain that you can then offer the appropriate treatment. Facial pain is a large term that encompasses trigeminal neuralgia pain, supraorbital pain, which is a pain above the eyebrow, infraorbital neuralgia, pain below the eyebrow, occipital neuralgia, pain behind the ear, glossopharyngeal neuralgia, a pain deep inside the throat on one side, and geniculate neuralgia, which is this knife-like stabbing sensation deep within the ear. For all of these diagnoses, the treatments are different. For the patient, it's very important that we bring all resources to bear on the issue that's facing the patient. That's why here at St. Luke's Neuroscience Institute, we have a multidisciplinary team of specialists to assist in evaluating the patient and then treating the patient as quickly and expeditiously as possible. Many patients have been told that they have a facial pain that isn't responding to medical therapy or doesn't sound like a classic facial pain and so they can live with it. The first thing that they have to understand as the patient is there's always hope, there's always an option. For these patients, I would recommend that they come to see me in my office and we can sit down and talk about their facial pain and reach a very clear diagnosis and understanding of their type of facial pain. My practice philosophy is simply aimed at effective, efficient, comprehensive, and expeditious delivery of care. Patients should know that they can see me quickly. I'll spend the time with them necessary to comprehensively evaluate whichever facial pain syndrome they have and then offer the appropriate therapy. 